Hey everybody, welcome back to the Speakeasy. Today, March 24th, is National Cocktail Day. Now, I've done a lot of cocktails over the last month or two. Um, St. Patrick's Day, Academy Awards, etc. So I'm going to go back to the cocktail that I like the most, which is a... Oh, and proper English, Mrs. Rayburn, thank you. An old-fashioned. And the reason that... I love this cocktail. It is simple. You can make this with bourbon or you can make it with rye. Either way, it's a great cocktail. I've done both. Now, the thing that I think sets it a little bit higher is when you smoke it. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can smoke the glass. You can smoke the ice and the glass. Or you can make the cocktail and then smoke the cocktail. You know, I used to think that smoking the cocktail after it was made was the best way to go because that would input the smoke into the alcohol and the drink while it was in the glass, right? Now, another concept is with the that I did with another cocktail, um, and I used absinthe, and I spritzed the inside of the glass, rinsed the inside of the glass, and so I coated the inside of the of the glass with that that liqueur and I've seen people do that with the smoked uh, they smoke the glass and the ice so we're gonna try it both ways which one's going to be better I don't know but I'm willing to try either or both so let's get some ice okay we're going to grab some clear ice here. We're going to put that on this side. Again, I'm still working through my, my vault ice free samples. Didn't pay for those, but I do appreciate the free samples because they wanted me to try to figure out if I liked it or not, I love them. I will go back and buy more. We're going to smoke this glass and this ice. This one we're going to smoke afterwards and see if we can tell the difference. Now we're going to use the same smoke. I use the Smoke Show Cocktail Smoker. I've got apple, I've got cherry, I've got hickory, and I've got bourbon barrel. Obviously, I don't want bourbon barrel because I'm going to use bourbon in my, uh, my two drinks. Cherry or apple are the two I'm leaning towards because hickory is sort of like oak. It's going to give you that wood, wood taste, which bourbon already has or should have. So, um, and I'm got, you know, I got a maraschino cherry as part of the old fashioned. So let's go with apple. So we will put this on there. And folks, you get a phenomenal amount. Smoke Show did not provide this for free. I paid for it. You get four tins of smoke when you order. And look how thick that 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 is a one inch tall tin of not smoke of wood shavings. And this one is apple. Again, you have cherry, hickory, bourbon. You get a lot out of one order of these unless you smoke every cocktail you ever make. I mean, all you got to do is take one pinch, drop it down in there. You take your torch. And you smoke it. And that one's going. So let's get one more piece of ice here for our other cocktail because we're going to let that one marinate in that smoke and we're going to let that one sit in there and I'm going to slice my orange up here while we're waiting on that other one to marinate in all that smoke and now we also Got my maraschino cherries, got my ingredients. Gonna just have to let this set here for a little bit so that we, we don't shatter that 
ice whenever we pour that in there, our bourbon in there. So we'll go ahead and close this up. Set that down there. Now we're going to take our bourbon. We are going to have, we're going to use some old pepper bottled in bonds. So we got 100 proof. I need to get rid of some of that. There we go. Get that off the top of there. So we got two ounces bottle and bond. Poured it in a little early, cracked my ice, and I got bourbon all over my countertop. Really should let that ice sit there a little longer than I did. Now we're going to take a couple of dashes of Angostura bitters. We're going to take about a teaspoon of simple syrup. Now this is homemade simple syrup. I don't normally do homemade simple syrup, but I did simply because the last time I went to buy some simple syrup, I couldn't find it anywhere. I went to three different places. I got so frustrated. I came home and made about a quart of this stuff. So we got one tablespoon of simple syrup. And then we are going to grab a cocktail stir. We're going to stir that around a little bit. And then we are going to grab our smoker. We're going to transfer that over there. We're going to smoke this. How much more we have in there? Not really enough. So go back and get a little more apple. We're going to smoke this one. While we make this cocktail, and again, we're going to have two ounces. Of some pepper bottled in bond. Couple of dashes of bitters. One tablespoon. of our simple syrup. And we should be darn good. Because right there we're going to go with a lime, a lime, an orange, and we're going to go with one if I can get a hold of one. For some reason, two keep jumping in. Now we have one. Also going to give that a quick stir. Should be done there. We're going to drop in our orange. We're going to grab a maraschino cherry. Again. Folks, there you have two different smoked old fashions this one smoked the glass and the ice this one smoked the cocktail now i have made the mistake of drinking the cocktail while it still had smoke in it i would advise you not to do that or you will choke on the smoke so let's try this one out definitely smell that apple smoke I love old fashions. Oh, I love old fashions. Wow, that's good. On this one, I smell the smoke. I think the ice kind of absorbed a little bit of the smoke. 
taste like a fantastic old fashioned and with that smell of the apple smoke, I, I don't think you can pass it up. Now, the one thing I didn't do was strip off a, um, an orange peel and drop it in there. I just dropped the orange, uh, half a slice of orange in there instead. That's all it takes to get the smoke out of that one. Let's try this one. Smoked after we made it. Definitely smells more smoky. I think that one tastes more smoky. That one just has a little bit of a little extra kick in the flavor because you smoke the whiskey the drink, you smoked it all afterwards, whereas this one, you just kind of coated the glass with smoke and the ice, and whatever that ice or the glass was able to retain, you might have mixed up in there, but I think that one has much better flavor. That one is good. Would definitely not turn that down. I think if I had to put a score on them, this one will be a nine. This one's going to be 9.5 or a 10. This one is just, it's got that extra thing right on top of it. And if you like old fashions as much as I do, you cannot go wrong with this, this smoke show cocktail smoker. Again, they didn't pay for this. I bought this. Smoke Show Cocktail Smoker. It looked like it was the best one out there. Um, you get, again, the four different tins of smoke, four different flavors. You get a, a scoop, but the, the scoop is kind of pointless. You just reach in and pinch out what you want. You get the topper that you put that in and smoke it. And you get a clean, a little wire brush to clean this, uh, this wire grate right here. Now, I could probably put a little more smoke on both of these if I wanted. There's enough ash left in there that, and some unburnt wood that I could do that. Butane lighter. It comes with its own uh, filler of butane. But I don't think you can go wrong with this, folks. Fantastic cocktail for National Cocktail Day. A smoked old-fashioned. Preferred it by me. After you make the drink, then you smoke the cocktail. Because when you drink it, you can also, even after you blow that smoke out of the glass, you can still smell the smoke in that drink. Fantastic. Hey, if you like this video, please consider subscribing, sharing, give me the thumbs up, and be, feel free to put any comments below on any cocktails or other things that you would like me to take a look at. I appreciate it. Come back next time. See you here at the Speakeasy. Until then. Cheers. Enjoy your cocktail.